YouTubes! Welcome back to the new workshop. I've got a little project today I've been wanting to kind of do for a while. Uh, it's probably not going to make me a very popular guy, but uh, that being said, my neighbor lady had called a couple of weeks ago and had mentioned to my uh, girlfriend that, oh, you know, I had a bat in the house and uh, I had to kill it. I couldn't get it out of the house. And I thought, man, i got to go over there and get it, you know? Um, it had been in the garbage can for three days. So, uh... I went over there and I picked this little guy out. In the meantime, I put him in uh, just a little jar with some uh, Froggy's Fog Juice, and that's not the way to go. Although, uh, you can do that, but uh, Fog Juice is mostly just glycerin. It's inert. It doesn't have a lot of toxic chemicals in it. Um, it doesn't freeze. Um, you got to heat it up to, to make it disperse anyways. So it's kind of a very stable liquid. So I use this in the meantime. Uh, but my thing is, this little bat guy, I wanted to save him. Because uh, I think all species are cool. They're great for kids to look at, for people as educational projects. You know, uh, there's a lot to be learned from them. And again, I would never take an animal from nature just to have as a little trophy. But uh, since my neighbor lady had this guy sitting in a garbage can, I didn't want to let him rot in there either. And I thought that wasn't fair. So I went and picked him, and we're going to bring him home. And today we're going to do a nice little uh, wet specimen project and how to preserve your little critters if you have maybe mice or lizards or snakes. Um, it's just a, a quick way to, uh, to preserve something and save it so that, you know, generations down you can pass it down and kids like to look at them and, you know, you can really appreciate what Mother Nature builds. So I'm going to bring you guys in and we're going to start working on this little bat. Okay, so here's our little bat. I went ahead and looked him up. It turns out he is a long-eared uh, little brown bat. So he's native to the United States, of course, and he's not endangered where most uh, bats are. You cannot take a bat from the wild. You cannot possess them um, for domestic uh, bats. Um, so this guy, like I said, he's been gone for a while. He was in a garbage can for three days, and I wanted to save him. So I put him in fog juice, but that's really not the way to house him. And I had this little jar, and that's not cool either. Um, he deserves a good home. So first and foremost, once you have your specimen, the fresher you get it, the best. Uh, I do have him right now soaking in 99% alcohol. You don't want to use anything less than 90% because there's water and other cutting agents in there. 99 is basically the best, uh, opposite of having formaldehyde in there to preserve your specimen in. So you're going to have to find this, and this is getting hard to find with the damn zam zombie apocalypse. Everybody's buying this stuff, so a bottle this big cost me $20. Where you can normally get it at the, you get it at the grocery store for you know, four or five bucks. Uh, when you get your specimen, um, you're going to have to inject him. He is right now in 100, per, or he is in the 99% alcohol. Um, so I've got him kind of in there. Uh, the other thing about wet specimens is that um, when you get them and they start, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they start breaking down, collecting gases in their body. They're not going to want to, they're not going to want to sink. So you got to make sure when you do your wet specimens, they're injected and that you get their internal organs with the alcohol so that it preserves them from the inside out so the gases don't make them float and they want to change colors and you know after a while your fluid may want to change color and you just change it out every couple of months usually three times you change your fluid out and uh, you're good after that unless it changes water now once you put them in the alcohol they kind of tend to stick how they are so I cannot reposition him once you put them in the alcohol and leave them for a couple of days um, they want to stay in that position, so you really need to put them in your position once you set them into their um, new environment. Again, I got some just some cheapo syringes off Amazon. I got a whole bunch for, uh, I don't think it was like eight or nine bucks. I'm going to go ahead and draw just some alcohol up in the syringe, just like so, maybe a little more. And we're going to fill him up. I'm just going to poke him in his chest cavity, and we're just going to fill him up and squeeze him full. So there's a little bubble right there. Okay. I'll go a little higher, and this is what's really what's going to save him so that he doesn't rot or turn change colors inside your jar. So you really want to get in them little areas, be real careful, and just kind of fill him up. Now small creatures like um, newborns and stillborns, piglets and stuff like that, they're thin enough where their uh, stuff will absorb into their body so you don't have to uh, inject them. And this guy's pretty thin, but like I said, you know, his uh, wings are pretty tight already and I don't want to stretch them out and break them but he's such a cute little guy I mean there's no sense for this guy to be wasting his time in a garbage can and, and going to waste so we're gonna put him in a brand new home today there's his little face and his little hooks there's his little feet all curled up um, I want to get him a new home rehouse so that he'll last forever and I can pass him down to my daughter or, 
or you know other generations to look at and really appreciate what these little guys are and, and how cool they are and what they do for the environment. So let me change gloves. He's off. All right, so was at the Hobby Lobby. Put little bat boy over here. We're at the Hobby Lobby. I went and found a nice little cool jar that's a little bit bigger than him. And I got it for, I think, two bucks, something like that. I got it on sale because Hobby Lobby's having a killer glass sale right now. I'm going to go ahead and close this needle up. We're done with that. That'll go in the trash. And uh, we're going to fill this up. Not all the way, but we want to fill it up most of the way with our 99% alcohol. Because we want to make sure he's covered. And the thing is about when you're housing in a, a sweat specimen, I went ahead and did put some... Uh, uh, petroleum jelly around the lip because this stuff will eventually if you don't put in an airtight seal will want to wick off and that's okay you just top it back off and like i said once you put your specimen in you may have to change the the alcohol up to three times if the water starts to discolor uh, but this guy's been in alcohol for a little bit now i just wanted to get him into a nice home so we can really see him and kind of appreciate him so let me get some more gloves on and we'll slide them in there we don't hurt anything he's really small and fragile Come on, gloves. Gloves on wet hands. Not good. Okay. All right. This is just not working. All right. Gloves on. We're good. So I'm going to take a little bat and I'm going to stick him bottom side down. We'll try not to uh, crush him. I'll slide him in there. I don't want to hurt him. Come on, little bat, slide in there for me. There we go. All right. Now your wet specimen, once you get them home, should want to sink to the bottom. That means all their internal organs are, fl are full with uh, the alcohol. So I'll pop that glove back off. And that's a good thing because you don't want them rotting or imploding inside the jar. And now that he's in there, we'll go ahead and top off the jar. Leave a little bit of air at the top, and ain't gonna hurt anything. Go just about like that. Put him there. Like I said, I've already covered the lip with petroleum jelly. We'll close him up. I'm gonna center this lid. And I think that's 10 times better than a little apple juice jar or whatever I had him in. And there's our little bat. Turn him around. And now my daughter or kids, or can, he can be appreciated and, and housed the right way. So I'm really happy with that little guy. We'll give him a good home here at Cobwebs and Candlesticks. He'll last a lot of years if the water starts to change or the alcohol starts to change. I'll go ahead and I'll change it out. Not a big deal. But he'll be preserved for years to come. So that is our little bat specimen. So if you guys any, got any questions for me about wet specimens, hit me below in the comments. Again, needles, you want to wrap these up, keep them away from kids even when you throw them in the trash so they don't get punctured. And if you're going to do more than one wet specimen, I got all these on Amazon for $10. Uh, they're just uh, medical grade syringes. So that's my little bat, guys. I wanted to show you guys. Hopefully you learned something on here. Uh, if you get a chance, go check out my brothers in the Trio of Terror. Uh, Vic Springston on his channel over at Great Power Keepers, but his channel is under Vic Springston. Or Dave at the Weird Kid Show channel. Go find them and look and watch with their videos. We're all kind of uh, triple teaming everybody and putting out uh, all our content together. If you guys got wet specimens or you guys do text or me, heck, man, share your work with us over on uh, the Trio of Terror page on Facebook or the Cobwebs and Candlesticks uh, book uh, page on Facebook. We're more than happy to, to see your guys' work and see what you do. As long as you're putting up creepy stuff, oh, man, we're interested for everybody on every level. Pretty cool. What a cute little guy. Okay, guys, I went ahead and took my needle. I tucked it in this uh, tubing this tubing caulk tube. I stuffed a couple of gloves in there so it won't puncture anybody through the garbage can. So always gonna make sure that those are taken care of because you don't want kids getting hurt or getting stuck yourself. But we got our little bat guy in his new home in his little jar. I'm really happy with him. I'm glad to be his owner. I'll take good care of him and give him a nice home here. So that is a whole lot better than rotting in a garbage can somewhere and not being appreciated. So I hope you guys dig this. Hope you guys come back for more. I got plenty. 
We'll give him a nice little home here on the counter with uh, the spider and the monkey skull. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So thanks so much for watching. Until I see you again, keep it evil, always.